Hey guys, so a previous video has brought up a couple of really good questions. Um, if you've watched a previous video on using your gallery host to upsell more products and you weren't exactly sure how to set that up, I'm gonna, we're gonna jump over into my MacBook in a second. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do that in Pixie Set. Um, if this is new and you don't know which video I'm talking about, we will reference it down in the description below. Go check that one out first. get started okay so if you've watched that previous video and you're like okay Morgan I get it let's upsell let's start bringing in more money when they get those galleries but I don't know how to set that up we're gonna talk about that most gallery hosts are gonna give you the option to create a coupon code those coupon codes can be good for percentages or a free print or most of them will allow you to set it up for X amount of digital downloads. And so that's what I've always done. My client gets their gallery, they know that their session includes X amount of images, right? 15 images. If they wanna purchase more, it's in there. How do I allow them to get their 15, but also to purchase more? I use a coupon code. So I like to set the coupon code for something um, that's personal to their photo shoot. I know that in my previous video, I talked about that some, um, but. I love the example of like if it's a family session and you know the children are chasing butterflies or the children are telling you about their new puppy or whatever, use the puppy's name, right? Or use the butterfly name or use the word butterfly for the code. Or maybe you've got the kiddos um, who has brought their stuffy that they've had their entire life to the session. Make a note of what that stuffy's name is and use the stuffy's name as the coupon code. It's just that extra personal touch that's gonna expand on their client experience with you guys. So once you get back and you've created their gallery and you're ready to send it to them, most gallery hosts will give you the option to create the coupon code. So when you create that coupon code, you should create it to be set for those amount of downloads that's included in their session, right? So in the example that we're talking about, it was like for 15. Then when you email them that link, they're able to use the coupon code, you're gonna give it to them in their email with the link to the gallery. When they go and add 30 images to their cart, they're gonna then be able to use their coupon code and that's gonna take away the 15 that is included in their session and then prompt them to check out for the other 15. Now, how do we set that up? I personally use Pixie Set, so I'm actually gonna walk you guys through that step-by-step -step in Pixie Set. Um, so let's jump over to the MacBook. Okay, so now we're over in Pixie Set, which is the gallery host that I've used for a couple of years. It's who I prefer. Um, but in general, being able to add upsells um, in the form of digital downloads is gonna be, there's gonna be a way to do it across the board. This is the way that I do it for Pixie Set and the way that it has successfully worked for me for years. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by going over to your store. And this might look different if you're using a different um, gallery host, but the concept is still gonna be the same. So the very first thing that you wanna do if you haven't done this already is you're gonna wanna go to products. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add a price sheet, right? So this is gonna be your self-fulfill meaning that you are fulfilling this, right? Self-fulfillment. And then unclick add commonly sold products. We have that option through the galleries that we already have a wholesale account with. We don't need to also do it ourselves. Great, so now here we're gonna add product, self-fulfilled item, a digital download or a package. We're gonna add a digital download. So here, you've got the option to do a single photo or all the photos. We're doing single photos because that is the entire point of being able to upsell. Your session is only gonna include X amount. They have the option to purchase more. We're not putting any pressure on them, but they have the option. All right, so you're gonna set your price. And then down here, you could give it a quick description if you want, although I find that most people find it pretty self-explanatory. 
Um, but here you could say, you know, water melt, water mark will self remove, um, will be sent in your email shortly after checkout, etc. Whatever it is that you want to say. And then we're going to hit save. Great. So now we're going to go back to our price sheets. And again, here you'll also see some, we've got Miller's lab, which is, happens to be the lab that I use. And this is plugged into my Pixie set uh, galleries as well. So if they decide to order a print, um, Miller's is going to fulfill it for me. And Miller's will just take their wholesale price out of what it is that I've set the prices for. So now I've got both of these working. So now we're going to go over to coupons and add a new coupon. This is the only part that you're going to have to do with every single client. So as soon as you've uploaded their gallery, go ahead over into the coupons and create the name for the coupon. Uh, your clients, in Pixie Set's case, they don't see this name. This is just for reference for you. So let's say that this was for the Gilmore. Now your coupon code, this is going to be the one that you're going to include in your email in a few minutes to the client. Again, I've touched on this a lot in stories, in workshops, online. Use this as another touch point for client experience, right? Really make sure that you're paying attention to your clients during your session. If the second you get in the car, you need to make a note in your phone, do it. Stuffies, the pet. Um, if the kids said that they get to go get ice cream after the session because they, they've behaved, ask them what flavor ice cream. Make that flavor ice cream the coupon code. And, you know, if you are a Gilmore Girls fan, then you know that this is going to be coffee. Now, this coupon code is good for what? This coupon code is going to be good for a free giveaway item. We're going to select the price sheet. And this was my self-fulfill sheet add a product, one download, quantity. This is going to reflect based on your session, right? So if it's a session that included 10 images, we're gonna put 10 images. If the order contains any product, it doesn't matter, same with the minimum order. They can use this coupon code just to get their 10, and if they don't wanna add any more or add prints or anything like that, that's fine. There's no obligation in this hybrid model, right? This is just a way for them to go ahead and download what um, they've already paid for, but it also gives them the option to want to purchase more. Now, this part is going to be super important. Your limited total uses. One time. This code is good for one time, and then it's going to automatically expire. You need to make sure that you are putting that in there, or else they could, you know, use their coffee code, um, and then pick their tin, and then they could email the link to Grandma and send Grandma the coffee code, and then she could pick a different tin. So make sure that you're limiting the total uses. And then you could go ahead and add a coupon banner if you wanted, but it's just not really something that I ever do. And then you're going to hit save. All right, so now that we've hit save, it's going to bring us back to the list of our active coupon codes, their code, their status, when they're activated, um, and how many uses that they've had so far and whether or not they've got a banner that are showing on that particular gallery. So now that we've done this, let's take a really quick peek at what it's going to look like from the client's perspective um, so that you can kind of understand how this works from start to finish. All right. All right. So now we're going to be looking at this from the client's perspective, right? So they've gotten our canned email that we send out when we send a gallery, as well as they've gotten the code coffee, right? They know that coffee is gonna allow them to download 10 digital images from their gallery um, because that's what their session included. All right, so let's go in here. Let's say that you're a client and you are going through your gallery, right? And you're gonna sit here and you're gonna choose. You know, in your email, you'll probably wanna tell them like hit, buy photo, digital, hit digital copy, um, and add it to your cart, and then, all right, so that's in our cart now, great, and then we're going to hit keep shopping, all right, next one, right, same thing, if they decided that this was the one that they decided, they would go to digital, one, keep shopping, 
Now, of course, your client has the option to like favorite 10 and then to go back and, you know, they can take their time for this purpose. We are some quick deciding clients, okay? Um, so let's add this one. And this time we're going to go ahead and I'm going to say um, eight digital copies. And again, this is just going to be, oh, no, look, it'll only let you do one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to add 10 photos real quick to my cart. So, stay stuck. Okay, so I'm now adding my 10th digital download, right? Now, the reason that we're gonna prompt our clients to go through this is because this is also gonna prompt them to go ahead and consider purchasing other options, right? Or it's gonna prompt them to realize that actually they are really in love with 12, or they're really in love with 20 images. So we've got our 10 items in the cart. And let's go to checkout as if we're a client. Okay, so if you remember your client um, in their gallery email would have gotten their code. See? So we typed in coffee and that coupon coffee allowed them to get those 10 that they had already placed in their cart. Um, it deducted those because those 10 were already included in their gallery. Now, same exact thing, right? If they had chose 20, then, you know, their subtotal would have been 400. They would have used coupon coffee, would have deducted 10. They would now have the option to check out for the $200 for the other digital downloads. Okay guys, so hopefully you guys understand that setup a little bit more now and you guys will be able to implement that either if you also use Pixie Set or if you use another gallery host. Um, and once you've got this implemented in your business and you start raking in that extra money post sessions, come share it with us in our Facebook group because we love to cheer for you guys. So have a great day and I will see you guys soon.